hello everyone in this video we are going to talk about apgar score so everybody uh, gynecologist and obstetrician must know the apgar score uh, there are various details whether it is useful or not or sometimes it is not useful and sometimes it is useful so you need to know where okay now let's understand apgar score in detail apgar score means the vital monitoring or the various vital of newborn babies can be monitored and can be noted down which are these five of these are here so we have a monomic of apgar score since a long time so a means appearance that means the color of the baby the every particular criteria has score of 0 1 and 2 so depending on the uh, color it the score is given either 0, 1 or 2. 0 is blue, 1 is pink body, blue extremities and 2 is pink. P is equal to pulse. Pulse meant we are uh, measuring the heart of the baby. The heart is absent that means 0 score less than 100 that means 1 score more than 100 that means score is 2. So then comes the G that is grimace that reflects the reflex. Okay, uh, The baby is either floppy. Uh, with the minimal response uh, with the prompt response so here are the three scores has been divided respectively now a comes with the activity and we can say there we are measuring the tone of the baby tone may be absent flexed arm and legs and active this may be the tone and depending on that particular score respectively okay now the r means respiration it may be either absent, it may be so and slow and irregular or it may be vigorous or cry. This all five uh, criteria of Abgar score. Now, total score of Abgar score is 20 but hardly only some of the babies can achieve that 20 score. But it's not, need, it's not very needed to achieve that 20 score because more than 7 is considered normal. Less than 3 we can consider it's not very normal so now abgar score you mean that yes abgar score that means five uh, uh, criteria no it was uh, discovered by or it was developed by dr virginia abgar in 1952 so it, the score comes on the name of that abgar and not on the minomic okay so when the abgar score is measured it is measured at one minute after birth then five minutes after birth until 20 minutes if some problem is arise okay now 7 to 10 abgar score is uh, called as reassuring 4 to 6 is moderately abnormal and 0 to 3 is abnormal okay sorry i have just mentioned here that the, total, the maximum abgar score is 20 no it's not 20 it's 10 i'm very sorry thank you now where the abgar score is useful why it is useful it is used for proper documentation of the baby's status and uh, passing the information about the baby's health in the layman language uh, you actually cannot predict baby's prognosis or deciding the intervention so this abgar score has becoming more and more layman language than a particular scientific knowledge okay now very low abgar score 0 to 3 what you need to remember you need to transfer the baby to nicu at five minutes okay the abgar score at one minute is not that much useful but abgar score at five minutes is actually very useful another criteria of uh, uh, deciding the abgar score with expexia is very misleading expexia does not mean low abgar score remember expexia means there is a blood uh, oxygenation is decreased okay that means exfixia and not the low abgar score it, there are different terms limitation of abgar score are various there this it is subjective it can change with the maternal conditions like anesthesia uh, sedation congenital malformation gestational age trauma or all can change the abgar score now neonatal resuscitation program that means that when we resuscitate a neonat what are our oxygen saturation target at one minute it is 60 to uh, 65 percent and at five minutes is 80 to 85 percent and not more than 95 okay remember so what i uh, what that means here is if the baby's abgar score is low due to low oxygenation at one minute that doesn't mean that baby is abnormal okay healthy preterm baby and low birth weight may have decreased abgar score but that doesn't mean that it is abnormal so abgar score doesn't help everywhere 
Now let's say prediction. What you can predict with the Abgar score? At Abgar score at one minute, no, you cannot predict anything. But Abgar score at five minute can large on the large scale predict the new net outcomes. Like at five minute, Abgar score is if less than five, then relative risk of cerebral palsy is increased. If it is more than five, then it is good. Okay. Now. Nowadays, uh, the extended Abgar score has been generated and uh, encouraged to be filled. What the extended Abgar score looks like? It looks like here. Here is the Abgar score, normal, normal five criteria, and their score 0, 1, 2. What you need to do is you need to uh, count the score and just write here 1 minute, 5 minute, 10 minute, 15 minute, 20 minutes. So you can see the total Abgar score here at every 5 minutes. Okay. But in the extended form, we use another criteria as two. That means oxygen, PPV, ETT, chest compression, epinephrine. This all are because we are doing resuscitation. So this kind of information also we need to enter at every time we take the Abgar score. That means extended Abgar score. An extended Abgar score is actually helpful to predict the outcome and actually uh, measuring the baby's health with scientific knowledge it is not well that that much subjective as the routine normal abgar score so this was all about abgar score and i think the obstetrician need to remember only these kind of uh, knowledge thank you friends